Hello guys, welcome back to Moto ADV channel, we hope you guys are doing well. Today we gonna show top 6 amazing all new 2024 motorcycles first look review, and explain the details of the bike. We hope you guys enjoy it, please don't forget to subscribe for more videos, thanks for watching. The 2024 Suzuki GSX S1000 GT intelligently combines the championship performance of its GSX R1000 based engine with a nimble, lightweight chassis to provide riders with an exciting and comfortable GT riding experience. Here is a grand tourer with sport bike level functionality, avant garde styling, and an extensive selection of optional equipment like truly functional, integrated side cases. Ready to go the distance, the Suzuki GSX S1000 GT has revitalized sport touring. It is as if the GT itself understands what performance-minded touring enthusiasts desire, whether heading out on a long trip with a passenger on board or enjoying a sporty solo romp up a twisty ribbon of asphalt. The GSX S1000 GT's performance is a revelation, its appearance breathtaking, and the Suzuki My Spin connectivity application integrated into the full-color TFT instrument panel provides easy access to contacts, maps, music, and phone communication. Using long stroke, GSX R engine architecture, the 999cc 4 stroke, liquid cooled DOHC inline 4 engine delivers smooth, consistent power throughout its wide power band. This enhances the riding experience, both at the low to mid range engine speeds commonly used in daily riding, and through the mid to high range used when traveling long distances on the highway. Refined and controlled performance is managed by Suzuki Intelligent Ride System, S, I, R, S, technology, including electronic cruise control, traction control and clutchless quick shifting, so passing slower traffic is an opportunity, never a challenge. Kawasaki has unveiled its 2024 lineup for the international markets, and the list of motorcycles in Kids, the updated Z900 Roadster. The Indian arm of the Japanese manufacturer already offers this motorcycle in our market, and thus we expect to see the 2024 iteration on our shores very soon. However, unlike the US market, India will only get the standard version of the motorcycle. For reference, Kawasaki offers the Z900 and Z900 SE in the US. The latter benefits from a lean source suspension and Brembo calipers. The visual changes to the 2024 Kawasaki Z900 are limited to the updated color palette. This motorcycle is listed in two paint options on the company's US website. The options include candy persimmon red with ebony and metallic spark black with metallic matte dark gray. Meanwhile, the styling remains unaltered, and the 2024 Z900 retains a ZH2-inspired design. This includes a sharp design for the headlight, a muscular fuel tank, split-style seats, side-slung exhaust, and 17-inch alloy wheels. The hardware, too, remains unaltered, and the standard version of the 2024 model continues to use 41mm upside-down front forks and a rear monoshock. The anchoring setup on this model includes dual 300mm discs at the front and a single 250mm rotor at the back. Then, the mechanical specifications retain the 948cc, inline four-cylinder, liquid-cooled engine. The India-bound model will be tuned to comply with the E20 fuel requirements. The India launch details of the 2024 Kawasaki Z900 are not available yet. However, we expect to hear a launch announcement in late 2023 or early 2024. The company is coming up with its newest 2024 Suzuki V-Strom 1050. With a design appropriate for people who enjoy adventure on two wheels, the motorbike represents a major upgrade. 
See more below about the new 2024 Suzuki V-Strom 1050 model. What's new in the new 2024 Suzuki V-Strom 1050? Before, let's give some information about the arrival of the model in USA. The debut of the 2024 Suzuki V-Strom 1050 in USA lands will happen soon, although the priority is to launch the new model in Europe. In this way, admirers of Suzuki motorcycles need to wait a bit. Meanwhile, we already have relevant information about performance, which has a super modern and innovative structure. Tires, in turn, bring an important modification. On Suzuki's newest model, they are mixed use, so they can adapt to any type of soil. With regard to the engine, we cannot fail to mention, for example, the bold and modern accessories. The windshield, then, has been revised in attention to the modernity that the company wants to reinforce. Sophisticated equipment of the new model. Continuing to talk about the new parts, we can also mention the alloy wheels of the Suzuki V-Strom 1050. They bring an extra convenience to be able to travel on different soils. The rear wheel measures 17 inches, while the front wheel measures 21 inches. Furthermore, the suspension is another strong point, as it ensures that the car is at a safe distance from the ground. The handlebars, in addition, now stand out for being wider, in the same way as the footrests. Incidentally, it should be noted that the suspension of the new V-Strom 1050 model 2024 has been updated, with greater travel. The bi-directional quick shift takes the best of the new Suzuki model a step further. At the same time, the sensitive ABS makes the equipment set even more complete. The 2024 Suzuki GSX-S1000 remains the performance standard for naked sport bikes by providing superb controllability, agility, and power for an exciting and rewarding riding experience while complying with worldwide emission standards. The long-stroke GSX-R1000 engine and nimble chassis combined with sharp, angular styling established the GSX-S1000 as a naked street fighter ready to turn heads and own the streets. Styling immediately draws your attention to the GSX-S1000. Clean, straight lines make it clear that this light and muscular, naked sport bike is a serious contender. It is hard not to stare at the stacked monofocus LED headlights housed in a minimalistic cowling that resides between a pair of MotoGP-inspired winglets protruding from the angular radiator shrouds. The GSXR-based engine is exposed as a clear message to others that this motorcycle makes more peak power with a broad torque curve that delivers street-dominating power. Riders can keep that power under control with the electronic ride-by-wire throttle bodies and the latest version of the Suzuki Clutch Assist System SCAS, that smooths shifting and engine braking. There is more GSXR DNA in the chassis with its aluminum, twin-spar frame design and superbike-braced swing arm. The suspension features a fully adjustable, inverted KYB fork and easy-to-adjust rear shock. Stopping performance is supplied by dual, ABS-equipped asterisk asterisk, radial-mounted, four-piston Brembo front brake calipers and 310mm floating rotors. A wide-cast aluminum handlebar provides a comfortable reach and the proper leverage to hustle the GSX-S1000 through the corners and maneuver in tight city streets and traffic. The 2024 GSX-S1000 continues to have the Suzuki Intelligent Ride System S -I -R -S, in its corner. Make this bike your own using the 3-mode Suzuki Drive Mode Selector and the updated 5-mode and off Advanced Traction Control Asterisk System. Give your clutch hand a rest with the bi-directional quick shift system. The much discussed optical unit split in two, the so-called split face, now seems to be at the end of its days. 
A new stylistic era is about to arrive at KTM, at least judging by the spy photos circulating on the net. The first pictures of the next one KTM Super Adventure, they date back to last November 2022, but in recent days other images that appeared on the forum. EU forum and taken from social networks and sector publications have been added. The element that immediately catches the eye concerns precisely the front which, as in the case of the Super Duke paparazzi in a prototype guise already last autumn, abandons the element divided lengthwise in two for a new structure based on two LED projectors arranged one above the other. In particular, in the new images of the Super Adventure, the front appears to be even more developed with the daytime running lights forming a sort of LED frame. Furthermore, a cover on the upper lamp suggests the presence of the radar sensor more integrated into the design of the front compared to the current one. They are also original large integrated turn signals which could also have a cornering function. The images suggest that there is no glass to cover the entire optical group and therefore the new face of the KTM 1390 Super Duke could be just that. Sure, cleaning it from the midges will be fun. We think it could also increase the hissing, but we'll remain in doubt until we have it before our eyes. And speaking of glass and rustling, on the prototype photograph, there is also an additional deflector on the upper part of the windshield, certainly useful for some tests. It's shaping up to be a pretty interesting year for Big Bore Adventure Bike News. As we head into the weeks before the Euro manufacturers typically release their new machines, Ben Purvis over at Bike Social says he's found evidence that KTM is working on a 1390 V twin, presumably to be launched soon. The information comes from poking around KTM's parts ordering system and finding references to a new 1390 engine. The upcoming 2024 KTM 1390 Super Duke R has made another appearance. It has been spotted testing closely in Europe and the new spy shots reveal many details of the upgraded Austrian Street Fighter. KTM will likely remove the vertically stacked LED slats and replace them with LED projector headlights flanked by boomerang-shaped DRLs. Even the fuel tank shape along with its extensions, the rear seat and the overall design seems much more aggressive than before. While the 1390 Duke is set to look just as sporty and youthful, the cuts and creases seem to have increased evidently. It'll be powered by KTM's LC8V2 twin motor, but the output could possibly receive a small bump. In the current 1390 Duke, the engine makes about 180 brake horsepower and 140 newton meters. Even the engine tune could be slightly altered. This motor is linked to a six-speed gearbox and gets a bi-directional quickshifter. Other rider aids like traction control, ABS, ride modes, wheelie control and engine braking levels are also expected on the 2024 KTM 1390 Duke R. We also expect KTM to offer features like smartphone connectivity for navigation, call, music and SMS notifications. The test bike scene here is equipped with adjustable WPUSD front forks and a monoshock. Meanwhile, the braking hardware comprises dual front and a single rear disc with Brembo calipers. This setup is mounted on 17-inch alloy wheels wrapped in sticky road-biased rubber. KTM has also given the test bike a full-system Acropovic exhaust system but it could be offered as an accessory rather than a standard fitment. KTM currently has the 390 series as its most powerful offering for the Indian market. While it did bring the 790 Duke in limited numbers a few years ago, the probability of it bringing any other big bikes from its stable to our market is low.